ballots over the next 12 months, which we know could define the future of the European Union. In Italy, of course, Mr Renzi has staked his own political future on the outcome of today's referendum, promising to resign if voters reject his proposals. And the instability which could follow his resignation would spark a financial crisis in the country. Let's turn our attention to Austria, shall we? Uh, meanwhile, there they are voting in a rerun of the country's presidential election. The Freedom Party candidate Norbert Hofer, who's voiced anti-Islamic views throughout the campaign, was only narrowly defeated in the original election in May. Well, on to the Netherlands then, and they're going to be holding a general election in March. And the anti-EU, anti-immigration party for freedom is currently leading opinion polls. Its leader, Gert Wilders, has pledged to call a referendum on the Netherlands membership of the EU if elected. Well, France heads to the polls to elect its next president in April and the far-right candidate Marine Le Pen is widely expected to reach uh, the second round of voting and Mrs Le Pen has vowed to hold a referendum on France's membership of the EU if she wins as well. And then, of course, in the autumn, Angela Merkel's open-door refugee policy will be tested in the German general election. Support uh, for the Eurosceptic alternative for German party has grown over recent years and they could enter Parliament as the third largest party next October. Well, our Europe correspondent Mark Stone reports now from Siena on the Italian Prime Minister's big gamble.